comes to miking a grand piano, there's a few things to consider. Probably the first is what else is going on in the song. Is it a solo piano project or are there 15 other instruments that are happening? This kind of gives you a guide for how much space sonically the piano can take up. So if you are working on something that's classical, maybe it's a piano concerto, you pretty much have the whole sonic spectrum available to you. Um, so I like to use a very like kind of dark, full ribbon mic sound. Uh, I'll put a stereo ribbon mic right at the bow of the grand piano, uh, angled up and then kind of down at the strings just a little bit. That picks up just a really full, lush tone. Um, and it, it, sound, it just sounds really delicious. Um, if you want to brighten it up a little bit, pick something uh, a little brighter of a microphone, perhaps like an Earthworks uh, QTC 40s. I use those on piano a lot. Um, and I'll even have that ribbon pair in the middle and flank with something brighter on either side to get just the right blend of bright and dark. For pop and rock music, you might be looking for a more punchy kind of sound. Um, there might also be a lot of other elements that are competing in your mix later on. So what I like to do is something a little more closer to the hammers. I would use an AKG 414 on either side, one by the high strings and one by the low strings. Uh, that yields a very uh, attacky kind of sound. And I have actually found that most pianists prefer that sound, even if they're doing classical music. And the reason is because it mimics more closely what they're used to hearing when they're actually sitting down at the piano itself. So um, for classical music, you might want more of an audience and a hall perspective, um, but for something more rock, you might want to get a little bit more punch there. So I'd move up to the hammers for, for that kind of genre.